My name is John Pierce. Um, I'm a 75 year old male, uh, retired. I was a consultant and a builder and uh, a Vietnam era helicopter pilot. I've got a little 30 acre farm here in uh, Kennebunk, Maine. And that takes up most of my time now, I main, maintaining that. I've got a wife of 53 years. My son is a college provost for a small co college in Georgia. And my daughter is a analytics nurse uh, for the Concord Hospital and System in New Hampshire. I had my five or 10 year colonoscopy scheduled. They found polyps and suggested me for a colectomy. They sent me off to a surgeon and he ordered a CT. And in the results of the CT, they found the liver mass. Uh, we got a tissue biopsy and the histology came back as cholangiocarcinoma. Um, the first oncologist that was assigned was less than uh, inquisitive about genomic testing. I, on the other hand, was very interested. Even though that first oncologist kind of poo-pooed uh, genomic testing, he did, at uh, my insistence, order a, a Garden 360, which is a, a liquid biopsy. And then I found out that Foundation One was covered by Medicare for all solid tumors. So I also insisted on a, a Foundation One uh, tissue uh, NGS sequencing. So they did the, the Garden 360 and it came back with uh, not many actionable mutations. Uh, the Foundation One, however, had a couple of pretty significant actionable mutations. After we had all the, the results in, he suggested a, a tumor board. A sample had been sent and tested positive, so I asked to have another one sent. And we sent another one. It did get results, and we found a third actionable mutation that hadn't been found in either of the two previous. We had the tumor board, um, had specialists from across the country, and I asked to be part of the tumor board. Um, they never had that before, so the prime uh, result of that tumor board was a suggestion of erlotinib uh, to target uh, uh, EGFR mutations, which are akin to the ERRF1 that I have. But Dr. Inhorn had previous experience with uh, IDFA, or uh, the generic name is Anacidinib, uh, which targets uh, IDH2 mutation. Luckily, I was able to uh, engage another tumor board. Uh, several specialists suggested that uh, don't give up on the Anacidinib, but do a combined therapy. So as of uh, just about a month ago now, I'm targeting both mutations, the EGFR and the IDH2 with uh, erlotinib and anacidinib. A little background on the diagnosis. I, uh, that, that first oncologist that I mentioned uh, said that uh, the only hammer I have is chemotherapy and you're the nail. That was his, his comment, um, which I thought was a little rough, but the hope uh, from uh, standard of care chemotherapy wasn't great, but I knew that those mutations were there to be targeted eventually. And the, the mutations gave me all the hope possible, limitless on hope, as are my family surrounding me.